So as you guys know, I'm such a nerd for army men themed mods and games. I was born in the 90s, so it kept me busy in my room whilst mummy and daddy were smashing plates downstairs, screaming at each other over what takeaway to order next, something stupid like that. So mum probably wanted an Indian, dad wanted a Chinese. I mean, the divorce was hard, not gonna lie, messed me up a little bit. Things could have been a little bit better if, uh, you know, they both settled for a pizza or something. You know, it caused me to be quite anti-social. So you literally couldn't move in my bedroom, by the way. It was like a giant battlefield. The floor was just consumed with toy army men. So the nostalgia has never left me, as you can clearly see. The theme of army men has taken over my channel and pretty much my whole online life here on YouTube. I mean, the sheer magnitude of the amount of videos we have which are army men themed are... It's just insane. Look at all these. It's, it's crazy. So anyway, we're going to be testing this mod right here today. It's a new army men mod called Army Men Civil War for Armour 3. I mean, I wonder where they got that name from. It seems rather familiar. So here we are on the battlefield. And as you can clearly see, this is a huge airfield which is currently under the control of the green nation so if you guys remember we did do a armor men of war series a little while ago where the greens attacked the uh, i think we call it tambango and uh they managed to take the island and uh we could say that this is part of our little story you see they've managed to secure the airfield on the island and if you remember correctly the reds tried to reinforce the tans so this is this is a, i suppose another army men series on the channel we've got so many going on at the minute but this is maybe we'll call this a friendly shall we and maybe you guys can connect the dots and sort of make the story up as you go along sort of thing so we're going to be watching as the greens right here in all their glory they look amazing by the way um are going to be defending against the red faction who are going to be counter-attacking from these trees right here so right here we can see the greens oh, look at these they look amazing they look uh, absolutely brilliant so we've got like the m16 on a lot of the soldiers because that's like my favorite kind of green army man and we have a bunch of others as well we've got this guy right here this has got this is an sks i believe and uh, it's uh, we've got a huge variety of different units i mean i can show you right here look so if we go to our units down here and locate our greens i mean there's this many you can see it on the mod page actually that's how many units that we're working with in this mod so imagine the possibilities imagine like playing multiplayer creating a server creating custom missions and having this as our sort of community getaway where we can role play as different factions and maybe run our own little campaigns so anyway we're on tambango We've got our airfield, which is controlled by the Greens. We've got a pattern over here, I believe. Is it a pattern? M48, it is. And we're going to be defending our captain right here, because this is about a company's worth of men, right? Maybe just under, maybe a couple of platoons, at, you know, at least. And uh, here's our captain, and the objective for the Reds is to kill the captain and take the airfields. But here come the Red Army. Moving up, there's about two platoons worth of soldiers. All with uh, different weapons. Is that a... That's an SG-44, right? That's like one of those uh, German World War II guns. I mean, the red is slightly off. I'd say that's probably more orange than red. I think the guns are definitely red, but... Overall, not a bad job, you know. It's just nice to have such a variety of different army men in Armour 3 now. You know, it's uh, crazy that, that we can play with army men on such a huge scale. So... So what we'll do, let's drop into a unit. I forgot to activate the um, enhanced Zeus mode, so I'm going to have to drop in by using this remote control option. We're just going to pick someone random. We're going to do this guy right here. And we're going to... Oh, good choice. That's what I want to see. And we're just going to join in the battle, I guess. So it's commencing. We are playing with the uh, SOG mod as well, the SOG mod. The I think it's called SOG Pet Prairie or something. Going to turn my uh, headset down right there. That's uh, bloody loud. Come on, oranges. I, I mean, reds. So, uh, going to sneak peek. Right. 
I don't think we've lost anyone yet. Let's see how close we can get without being shot. Uh, I've got a shot on that. Uh... Oh, the recoil on this! Let's get down. Let's do some covering fire. Nearly killing my own troop there. Use the trees. Did I get him? I think he's a gonna. No casualties yet. As far as I know, that is. So the uh, M48 is targeting me, I think. Oh, it's got one of those little turrets on it. That's going to be hard to kill without any AT. Oh! Took a grenade to the face. Casualty count. We've lost a lot of reds. Not that many greens, though. So let's see what it looks like from the green perspective. They're not even shooting over. Come on, man. We've got a radio man right here. Seen anyone? Oh, look how cool that looks! It looks proper like an army man game. Time go down. I think we're good. Let's have a little run around our base. No casualties yet. Oh! Him. Hostile down. Oh, I heard smoke, I think. Yeah, we've just smoked ourselves, I think. Or did that come from the uh, enemy? Either way, it's to our advantage, not theirs. How epic is this, though? Whoa, I'm taking heavy fire right here. Not seeing anybody though. Oh, they're outflanking us. Oh my god, they're actually really outflanking us. Oh, there's a sniper there. We're going to have to play as that sniper. Let's see uh, what this dude's like. We'll be able to see the whole battlefield then, won't we? There he is. So this guy has got a Springfield sniper, I believe. So realistically then, this is a mix of the Vietnam mod, the World War II mod, all of the CUP mods and just the vanilla mod, I guess. I'll have to get up a screenshot right here of all the mods that are involved in this mod. In, in order to play it, that is. I think we've killed the majority of the reds right here. Aha! I see him. Got a good position. Hello, Moto. Where's he gone? Get back in my line of sight. Oh! What the? What do we have with this guy? So, we're playing with a M16. Nice. Oh, I'm injured. He's patch up. Um, right, so we're going to get out our bazooka and see if we can target one of those tanks if we can. Got my pistol out by mistake right there. How are we looking? I'll tell you what, we can provide some... Oh, no! I think we've lost the majority of our Red Army right here. Got an M1 Grand. Oh, they're actually pushing up on us. Confidence right there. Green confidence. Got him. He's a gunner. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely more orange than red. What do you guys think? Run, run, run. Yes, we've got some reds or oranges or red. I don't know. 
We've got some reds at the front. Do we have any grenades? That is the question. Let's get some over there. No, not a smoke. You know, right, we're just gonna keep throwing them, I guess. That's a grenade. There we go. Another grenade. Oh no, I think I'm all out. No, there we go. Grenade out. Holy hell! Red smoke means reds attack here. We managed to do it though. Oh, hello. Naughty, naughty. Go on in. Okay, so we're in the first trench. <gasps> no! God damn, bro! I've been kissed by a god or something. Ouch! Ouch, 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 ouch. We need to patch up. Let's see how long we can survive as this guy. I hear a vehicle. Okay. I'm out of grenades. There is a lot of greens over there. And over there. Where's my men? Come on. If I've pushed up this far, surely they're going to follow. I'm out of ammo. I'm actually out of ammo. Do I have a secondary? We do. Right, last stand. Last stand of our orange red. And that's it, we're out of ammo. Run back for ammo. Go, 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 go. Jump it! That is the slowest jump I've ever taken. He didn't even jump and he died. Loving it. So here we go. The reds have outflanked the green position. They're now coming down the airfield in some um, half tracks. That's the word. Let's see how they perform. I think the greens still have a M48 pattern over here. Which should be interesting. Yep. So they could easily turn. In fact, I tell you what, we're going to move this pattern from over here and try and take out these half tracks. See how they do. Those half tracks are full of infantry as well. This is going to be interesting. Oh. Now we've got to try that, we've got to try this. Right, remote control. Does it have a computer? I think it does, you know. Get out. Artillery map, there we go. Okay. Can we do that? Oh, it's too close. Yep, it's too close, we can't even shoot it. Or can we? <laughs> no idea where that's going to land. That's just going to hit some poor civilian or something. Blow his house up. So the reds have disengaged. it. I'm sorry, I can't keep calling these guys reds. They're friggin' oranges, man. Definitely orange. Now they're surrounded from two sides. Well, one side because there's barely any guys over there. Hell of a lot of uh, greens over here though. Let's try and bring this platoon over to support the uh, greens over here. Have we lost a captain? The captain's dead! That always happens to me. Every video, right, I never capture the, like, the main characters dying. They always die in the background. I'll tell you what, we need some green reinforcements. So if in doubt, what do we do? We call in some green paratroopers. 
Let's see how these guys perform. They'll probably mostly die before they hit the ground, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. What are we up against right here? It's DJ V2. Let's see if we can get a shot right there. Parachute. Surely I hit him, I mean... Oh no! I know what we need to do. That's it. Now we're going to go to the gunner's seat. That's it. Bob's your uncle. Dave's your dad. Fan is the aunt you never had. Let's do this. No! There they are. Oh! Reload. This was always my favourite gun in World at War. Call of Duty World at War back in the old days. Damn uh, recoil, man. Come on! Definitely a close range weapon. Double tap. We're doing alright. Oh, hello. Let's have a look at them paratroopers. I've not looked at what the uh, paratroopers look like yet. Oh, they're pretty cool. They look more like the... Um, oh, what are they called? The German paratroopers. They do look pretty sick. He's not having a good day, is he? And what's left to do but to bring in a green Huey helicopter. It's been a while since I flew these things. I think we have to go to manual fire. And uh, we've got a searchlight. We've got some heavy rounds right there. Let's see if we can uh, go up a little bit because uh, coming in hot. I think their position is right there. There we go. Don't think we're here. Oh god, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay. I mean, I've not flew one of these in. Oh, it's got to be getting on like. Oh, no, no, no. No, come on, go. Oh, my God. Okay, that was fine. Everything's fine. We only have one weapon on this thing. I was hoping for some missiles. There we go. So, what we're going to do is if we go to auto hover, then we might be able to. Uh, we gather ourselves. Yeah, look, there's like missiles right there, but we can't uh, can't shoot them. Oh, we're taking heavy fire right here. Let's uh, okay. We need. Oh, I can't fly this thing. It's terrible. Oh god, I'm taking shots right here, dude. Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Pull up! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, I'm not very good at flying helicopters. Um, well, that's for you guys anyway. We're, we're going to have to recruit a pilot when we do the multiplayer because... I mean, I, I'm not piloting those things. I can't, I can't even fly planes. Did you see my last Armour 3 video where I tried to drop a nuclear bomb on Chernogorsk? It was, it was dreadful. I think that was like the video that I got the most hate on, actually. So the Reds have completely controlled this side of the uh, battlefield right here. So um, it's definitely a win for the Reds. In fact, it's kind of 50-50. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's uh, charge. Let's just charge everybody. It's every man for himself.
More greens. Yeah, this is the gun. This is the first gun right here. Oh my god, dodge the bullets. We did it, Reds. We've taken the airfield. Or should I say oranges? Definitely orange. Not having it. But yeah. This is a really cool mod. I've really enjoyed this, to be honest. Who's shooting? It's the tank. Right, we need to take this tank out right here. So, we've got this Matisse right here. Alright, we're going to aim. Oh no, it's going to move, isn't it? We're going to aim and... You're going to shoot. We're going to load it, never mind. Okay, aim and... Do we get it? Nope. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god! Oh! It's okay, we have another one. We have an RPG. Now I have to puff about. Oh god, how do we get close to this thing without dying? Say to cover. No, get down! Get down, you sausage. Right. Get your RPG out. No! No good. Oh yeah, this is cool. I think we've won. Yeah, I'm just going to say we've won. This has been epic. Anybody? I think I see someone over there. Dude, controlling the gun on a pattern is epic. Oh yeah! Now this is how to experience Toy Army Men. Oh! If you want to see more of this type of content anyway, um, do leave a like, also subscribe, join the Mighty Nation, join the Discord as well, if you want to get involved in the multiplayer when we arrange it. Um, hopefully Daily does come and join us as well, that would be pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be playing some more of this. We've also got some Plastic Gates of Hell coming up as well in the coming days. And uh, some other stuff in Men of War, Call to Arms, those sort of games. And uh, I'm hopefully going to try and upload more frequently um, this year. So be sure to show your support by leaving a comment. It's nice to see everybody comment every once in a while. And uh, I'll try and reply as well. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.